Yeah, I read a book, actually, um, this was kind of for business, but I really thought it was great. It's called Why Do We Care About Literary Characters? And it's by a professor at Stanford called Blakey Vermeule. Um, and it's an example of what we were talking about earlier, which is trying to apply some of the um, uh, discoveries of experimental psychology and cognitive science to uh, novels, in particular to ask the question, why is it that people care very much about what happens to a fictional character, given that not only have we never met this person, but the person doesn't exist. But we actually, if we see a movie or read a novel and the bad guy gets away with it, we're pretty upset. Well, why, would, why would we care? So she has an explanation from evolutionary psychology, um, and, uh, but she has some other insights as well into what it means to read and what it means to identify with characters that have to do with the way we relate to other people. Um, and even though I felt the cognitive science part of it, I could take or leave. I thought that her manner of reading novels was great. It's a wonderful book, and uh, she just has a great voice as a critic, and I felt I would follow her wherever she led. Sure, of course, yeah, most of them. Hans Kostorp, probably, uh, the magic, Hero of the Magic Mountain. When I was a kid, I read that. I mean, not a kid, probably about 20. And, um, I remember being like deeply invested in that character. I don't even know why anymore, but I remember feeling it really mattered to me how things came out for him. Uh, yeah, no, that's part of why I suppose, I suppose everybody does get attached to characters, whether in movies or in stories, but I think that that's part of the reason you get involved with literature is because there's something that grabs you about it, and then you want to figure out why. Um, that's part of what the job is, really, is to figure out what, what is it about this story or this character or this outcome or this style or this voice that that gets to you. What is, what's getting to you? What does it mean? Um, and that's really an interesting problem to try to figure out. So that's what this book was get, taking a stab at doing, and I just thought it was a pretty original and fresh and fun take on the subject. Mm -hmm.